The Wonderful Spring of Mickey Mouse is the next separate special connected to the Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse show, which is a short film series that really captures that original magic, the magic we know from the old shorts. It's so quintessential Mickey Mouse, at least that's my opinion. Only last month we got the wonderful winter of Mickey Mouse and now we're only starting to move towards springtime and you know it's perfect timing because I don't know how things are where you live but this week was the first week the weather was really really nice here. I live in the, the Netherlands in Holland so I'm having a great week personally. But Another question, are we getting summer and autumn Mickey Mouse specials? I mean, they kind of have to do that now, right? <laughs> Hello, fellow Disney Plus watcher. It's nice to talk with you about Disney Plus today. If you love Disney and Disney Plus as much as I do and enjoy talking about it, why not click the subscribe button to stay up to date and give it a like so that more people can find this video. Thank you so much. Oh my, I already had a great week, but now it got enhanced some more. This was loads and loads of fun, but not for the reasons I normally find things fun or really good. Because yes, we got three well-told simple but effective stories in this Mickey Mouse special, but therefore we have to go into spoilers, just to be sure, spoilers ahead. Yeah, sure, the first story where Mickey and his gang wake up as little plants and twigs and living in the shadows while their neighbors are dancing in the sun. Yes, that is a good allegory maybe for the classes wealthy and poor, and through the power of persistence, creativity, hence the idea to blow the angry clouds around the sun away with the use of a windmill, and improvisational music, they literally find their way to the sun in this story, and that's all sweet and dandy, and it's also a bit of a story about natural selection, but I'll get back to that. And then the second story where Mickey and Minnie are flowering their garden with love, and the story is basically being an exaggeration of the adjustment period from winter to spring, the devastating effects of hay fever, bee stings, and how too intense, fiery burning love to the point of recklessness can actually unbalance you and everything around you. So kids, remember when you get in a relationship, keep your balance and your yin and yang intact and don't leave a path of destruction on your way to love. And there is your relationship advice from the guy that has been single his whole life. But moving on. I am aware of the effect I have on women. And the third story of the wonderful spring of Mickey Mouse, a hilarious retelling of the classic cleaning day story, the spring cleaning day, I should say, where Minnie helps Mickey to clean his house, but that means Mickey has to get rid of a lot of memories and he's very attached to them. We know that, right? This one was the most cliched, not the most original, but the three stories actually work really well together. The first one being about the birth of spring and the natural selection process, nature competing with itself. Then the second one is about the struggle of dealing with the emergence of spring. And then the third one is what needs to be left behind in order to, to say goodbye to the winter days. With the risk of overanalyzing, I think this three-parter was very deliberately chosen to play out in this order, where we first get a story of how spring overcomes winter, then a story on how man struggles and adjusts to spring, and then a story on the wrap happens, the leaving the final attachments behind that are associated with, for example, the hibernation and closing the book on the past and new year begins. So I'm kind of rambling, but if we look a little bit closer, there is a lot to it, even if it's a simple funny cartoon. Do you think this analysis on this simple TV special is a bit far-fetched? Let me know in the comments because you're not necessarily wrong. But to my point, I can see how the simple but effective stories work together and why they're good and Heck, I think this one's definitely better than The Wonderful Winter of Mickey Mouse, which was fun too, but this one has a little more to it in my opinion. But I didn't love Spring of Mickey Mouse because of those things. I mean, guys, for a 20 minute runtime, why am I dying of laughter so freaking often, really? During the opening narration, the fish just slapping that bear and taking it back at him, the tiger that just grunts, oh, instead of playing it cool and looking very loony, a freaking ant honking at his fellow ants driving a car, the sun drumming on ice clouds in the distance, Donald kicking the swarm of bees away and then when one remains, slapping the last one on the Chip ground, Chippendale thanking Goofy for his solution to their hay fever problems and then shoving some flower pole in his face a thank Mickey you. and Minnie looking like Pac-Man, hedge trimmers, whoever drew this version of Mickey deserves a freaking raise. <laughs> I mean, my point is I can try to review this hilarious piece of TV for hours if I tried, but, but it's just because of the freaking derpiness. It's the sheer randomness. It's the never ending playfulness. And it's not of what spring means for certain life forms and how they're fighting their way up to the food chain with visual metaphors like drums being used as a means of thunder. I, 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 don't, I don't care. I can try to give it meaning all day, but, but you know what was meaningful today to me? Starting my day with a Mickey Mouse cartoon where I'm laughing my ass off with some of the sunlight pouring in because it's spring, baby. And when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna have my lunch outside and have some fresh air and reminiscing about this tiger's face because sometimes I'm an animal.
analytical whining little bitch, but today I'm just here to have a laugh. So yeah, final verdict, Wonderful Spring of Mickey Mouse is good. Go watch it if you haven't. The middle one is my favorite. What is your favorite actually? I'm thinking about wrapping this up. Thank you so much for watching. I'm curious, what did you think of the Mickey Mouse Spring special? And for you personally, how are you feeling about spring creeping in? How are you doing? Be sure to let me know in the comment section. And if you're interested in my thoughts on the wonderful winter of Mickey Mouse, it's linked right here or in the description. Did you like this video? Then there's a simple way to show support. Thank you so much. For now, have a wonderful day and see ya.